Welcome back. This is part two of creating an Animoto slideshow. So where we left off last time was that we were at Choose Your Video Style. You can see here on this page, uh, Animoto, Air, Water, Fire, any of these here are available in the uh, free account or the all access account. So we're just going to go with an Animoto original. Okay. Any of the ones that you bring up, they will show you a sample video if you want. So we can go create a video here. Uh, with my version, you have the choice to create a full-length video or the 30-second version. But if you're just getting the free version, you would have only the 30-second version available to you. Okay, so when you click on that, it'll bring you to this screen. And it pretty much walks you right through everything. Step one, pics and videos. Load up your video with images and video clips and you can always add more later. Okay, so basically you can add up in your pictures or videos. For this, we'll just add in pictures. You can go anywhere to where your pictures are stored and you can upload two, 200, whatever fits the music. So I'm just gonna upload two images just to make this fairly simple to upload and demonstrate all the different steps. Now, while this is uploading, you can see down here, there's a few options. Uh, add more, which will bring you back to the screen where you can select more images that you'd want to add. You can add text, which you can put in a slide that is just words, not a picture, and it'll go through the different transitions. I'll click on that. You can add a text there, so you can put in a title. It limits it to 22 characters, so you can say, my test video and that'll be in bigger letters and then this will be the smaller one then you can click done okay and then you see that a T icon appears there okay spotlight it, you can take a picture and you can put a spotlight on it which will make it have a more dramatic transition or it'll stay there for a little bit longer you can rotate if you want to do something where you can turn them to the side you can duplicate if you want to if you want to upload just one picture and then have it go multiple times through the slideshow if you want to delete something because you uploaded it by mistake or whatever and you can shuffle them if you don't have a specific order that they need to be in you can click here on shuffle and it'll go that way and you can see here where it's got the cross type symbol you just click hold and you can drag into a different spot if you want to rearrange the order yourself Okay, so that's pretty much there with do uploading your images. The second part is that you can pick out music. Okay, it says that their library has tons of good music to explore, and you can uh, have your own MP3 if you have the rights to use it. Okay, so that goes in the idea of copyright and everything else like that. So for most purposes, you can select from their collection. And as you can see, they have a bunch of different genres of music depending on the type of slideshow that you want to create based on your pictures. So you can do any of these different things here. We'll just click on here. And as you can see, it lists the track, the artist, and how long it is. So if you have a lot of pictures, you might want a longer track length to accommodate all the photos that you have. Here you can click play to test to see what the song sounds like. Then okay, it'll bring over here more of the information and a bar for you to control what you want. You can click on other ones and click play. Okay, so there, there you have a vast amount of music files that are available to you. So once you pick your music, then you can just click down here which it'll save it. Uh, in the free version where you only have the 30 second length you don't get all these options but for mine you can do a half speed which will slow things down. You can go double speed so it goes really really fast. Um, in the video length you only have the short in the free version. This is if you wanted to pick a different style. You can still do that at the end. You just click on change. Um, you can do a bunch of different options if you have the pro account. So that's that there. 